What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm David Got Kicks. Welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a custom rug. Now this is going to be my second design because obviously if you're new to the channel, the first rug that I did was this one right here and it's still holding up pretty good. One of my good buddies reached out to me for a commissioned rug. And at that time, I wasn't taking commissioned pieces because I didn't really feel comfortable on making other rugs yet because I've only made one other design. But the design didn't seem too hard and I felt like I could easily do this. I said, you know what, David? You can do this. That's really pretty much what I said. So I accepted the challenge, but first I had to build a smaller tufting frame. I went to Home Depot and I picked up two eight foot two by fours. I didn't have my saw on me, but good thing Home Depot cuts the wood for you for free. Picked up four brackets, which is gonna add more strength to the corners. And then I picked up some clamps. This is gonna come with four and they are pretty heavy duty. And last but not least, I went ahead and grabbed some carpet grippers. You also need a drill and some screws that I didn't picture. So I'm just showing you everything that I had to get at the store. The total came out to just under $30 because the clamps itself were $21. If I didn't get the clamps, then it'd be a lot cheaper. All right, so after building the frame, it took me about maybe half hour just to put everything together. But this is what it looks like. Pretty much, I ended up cutting one eight foot two by four in half and then i cut the other eight two by four in thirds so i'll have all this in the description down below if you guys want to copy this same setup pretty much it's 30 by 30 so this is 30 that's 30 this is 30 which is just enough space for two feet rugs so now that it is propped up we're gonna get the clamps clamp it to the table and this thing should be sturdy oh and then of course i added some carpet grippers all along the edge to hold the material but yeah i like this i like the way this came out this might not be perfect but it's gonna get the job done all the colors laid out right here one of these greens is enough one of these yellow is enough because the green and the yellow and the pink is only for the stars but yeah we have it drawn out and whenever you draw something out this is like the rough draft so it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not when you draw it out as long as it's somewhat perfect when you start tufting on it then you can go and reshape the line however you need to but before I start this rug I just want to let you know the reason behind me making a smaller frame so I still have my other frame but it's just way too big and when I have a big frame like that I can't just make a small rug and then cut it out and then use the rest of the materials you guys already saw how easy it was to build this frame and I think it's dope that it's portable I can literally put it anywhere it doesn't take up too much space but yeah let's go ahead and get started on this rug So far so good. I have been practicing by doing the lines a lot closer to each other because the closer the lines are to each other, the less gaps you can see on the other side. This is what the other side is looking like and it's looking good. <laughs> All right, so we pretty much finished all of the black that we needed to do for the rug. But before I start on the next color, I'm gonna go on the other side and give this thing a nice trim, a nice lineup, just so it can look a lot cleaner once I add the second color.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have made it this far, right now would be the time to hit the like button. Comment something down below and let me know, of course, what you guys did think. I just finished this rug, but I have now already started working on two different designs and I'm gonna try to keep it a little more consistent with rug making as this is something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing it because it's kind of like bringing art to life. Once I start working on more rugs and more designs, then I will open up commissions. But that's it, happy 2023. Wishing you guys nothing but success and love and happiness and every other positive thing you can think of this year. It is your boy David Got Kicks and I'll talk to you guys later for the next video. Peace.